Both these girls have had some uh, Muay Thai, okay. but they actually are from the Jiu-Jitsu and Judo communities. Ah. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to see them in action well, as like Joel Bowen picks up the action. Big shout out to our sponsors, the Movin Pick and Four Points by Sheriff. As we trade kicks here in round one, and the ladies link up. Yeah, both girls coming out swinging. They hit the canvas. You're in the most awesome dojo on the planet. Very they nice. decide to ground away. Again, remember, they have had Muay Thai fights under their belt, but not their main disciplines. Okay. Judo and Jiu-Jitsu backgrounds, and that's Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. Both ah. these girls work with the Nippu, if you will. Very nice. Nippu. <laughs> International here in the dojo. Okay, so we've got Amp on, on bottom in full guard, right? Oh, work, works to get her way back up. And her opponent... Kale. Kale out yeah, of the... Kale, it's uh, K-E-I-W, you know, Gale. Gale. Yes. Yes. Some of these Thai names are very yeah, difficult for difficult. BK. You're always learning here in the Full Metal Dojo. Okay. We've got Full Mount going on right now. So, looks like these girls, uh, yeah, they know some grappling. Full Mount position. Oh, and she's getting up, posturing up and throwing some punches down. Raining him down. Ooh. Looking to again get separation. Yeah. And get those fair text glove to face. You can tell the inexperience of the girl in the back. Oh, nope, she did exactly what I was going to say. She did. She grinded. She got to get. Ooh. Oh, and we go into a scramble. So, some of about the. to say she wasn't grinding her feet in the mat, wasn't getting the heels up and the, and the hips up, and she completely served me wrong. And now she's in the guard of Amp, the pocket rocket. Yeah, some of these crazy positions that the girl fighters get into are crazy. They're just so flexible. You, you don't see this with the men. Yep, the scramble is a little bit different with these young ladies. Yeah. And again, this is tie on tie action here in the Pearl of the Andaman. So we've got Gail in the top position, working a little ground and pound, and Amp on the bottom in the full guard. And she's just kind of uh, chilling out there right now. She's not doing too much. I'd like to see her kind of work to possibly stand up or go for a submission. And Gail really grinding her face against the cage, which never feels good. Yes. As Joel Bowen stands him up, feels like it came to a Good stand up. Oh, we got Joel in here. I didn't even see this. Yes, oh, very nice. a Team Quest guy. <laughs> a team Quest guy in there. And they link up again. See if we can see a nice little judo toss here. Possibly. Oh, yeah. There's that big brother headlock that I like yeah, so much. Yeah, you know, the judo people like this too. You know, they kind of do it. But in MMA without the gi, it doesn't always work that well. Brings what? the oh, legs she, over. She can use this as an arm bar here. Yeah, she. that she is. Get that leg over. Oh. 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 Went for the attempt. That was pretty good. Yeah, it's very nice. You know, they're Remember, trying. this is... This is knowledge is power here, again, in the dojo. Yeah, you can see the, the development, these, number one priority. These girls have grappled a bit, you know? Yeah, north-south position, and, and just, again, a, back and, a, a pretty back-and-forth ba uh, battle in terms of the yeah. scramble. And it looks like uh, Gail's hair has come undone. Yes. This is not good. It's going everywhere. But again, Amp uh, has been the one to go for better attempts and Gao has been the one grinding a little bit more mm -hmm. and getting these rabbit shots. Yeah, she likes the top position. And she's got the front head head control, top position. Possibly looking for, oh, nope, switches it up. Gets the hand control exactly like you're talking about. She needs to work, keep working around to the back. Yeah, that would be nice to see if she was swing around. It would, it would show a little bit more rustling skills. Um, which again, we know that the guys in Chumpon, that's where the rust in uh, Thailand is really focused. Okay, okay. So who else is out of there as far as the guys? Dream Man, Kritzadal. Oh, okay, okay. Um, again, Joe Benzel as well. Shout out to those guys. These are the guys that uh, try to wrestle, wrestle for the national team. I see. Um, Gao trains them. Both these girls do go and, and train with them at different times, I would assume. Okay. Both these girls definitely know each other, though. They're on that the same circuit. Um, more judo competitions than, than uh, wrestling competitions here in Thailand. 
ASEAN pace, obviously. Yeah, and judo can work well in MMA once you, you know, you get the hang of it, you know, but first time, you know, when you're first starting out, it's tough because you don't have that gi to grab onto, so things don't just work like they, like they did with the gi. We come to the end of round one, and we'll go to replay action. Again, big shout out to all the sponsors here, the most awesome dojo on the planet. BK, what were your thoughts on round one? It's tough, man. That's really tough. Um, probably uh, Gail, though, just because she had the top position most of the round and, uh, you know, was, was pounding away. But uh, honestly, you know, again, I'm not a... I, I hate judging. It's tough. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the goalkeepers of the MMA universe. As we get underway with round two. You heard Yoke T song again. We're in the kingdom of Thailand. Ooh. Nice First kick. pro women's MMA fight ever going on in the Full Metal Dojo right now as they scramble on the canvas. And see there, Gil ends up in the top position again. In the half guard. Yep, one leg in right now. Victor Swenson, you can see him right there. Big shout out to Maximum Gym in Patong, Phuket. Yeah, one of my favorite gyms. Actually, that's where I'm training at now. I love this gym. Victor, an excellent jujitsu coach. BK, Brennan Kessler, my partner in crime right now. Check out his book, Train in Thailand, correct? Why You Need to Train in Thailand by Brennan BK Kessler. Thanks yeah. for the plug, Johnny. Well, you know, again, we're <laughs> in the scramble right now. We're in the grind, and he, they do, these two girls do get stood up again by our referee, Joel Bowen. Um, you yeah, can tell, a, again, both these girls have the gas tanks, both athletic, want it, but the uh, stalemate's coming because their knowledge of the game is probably not what it could be. No, 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 but they're learning, you know. They're doing a lot of the right things. They just need to keep going, you know. We see these girls in a year or two, we're going to see some completely different fighters. But, you know, they're doing, um, they're doing good stuff out here. You know, they all know the guard. They're yes. working their takedowns, you and know. The, exactly. And the, and the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is finally making an impact in the Thai community. Oh, definitely. Yeah, seeing it everywhere now. Big shout out to Nitty and Shannon, the FMD Thai commentators. Yes. Shannon, one of the nicest guys in Thailand. Yes. And one of the toughest Thai guys as well. One shit. Fantastic guy. And then Nitty again, uh, EMAC Jim. As the rabbit punches come to the side of the head from uh, from both fighters, trading them up. Amp again, opening the guard now. Yeah, so she she Looking just to get those hips to the sky. She's just kind of keeping her guard closed, not doing too much. She needs to start, you know, going for a submission, getting a higher guard, working a sweep, working something. She just you can't just lay there on your back. And this is what you were talking about, just being a young fighter. You know, she needs to learn some more jujitsu. Jujitsu. I mean, I love it when somebody lays on their back and just lets me punch them for the whole. Yeah, who doesn't? You know who what doesn't? I mean. And again, <laughs> here at the Full Metal Dojo, we love that action as they Great do get stand stood up. up. Excellent stand up by yep, Joel. Joel here. Bowen's doing a fair, fa very fantastic job of being on top of the action. Yeah. As it, we get back to it. And I like watching these girls swing because they're they're going when they swing they swing. Yeah, these legs are flying at you. Ooh. Ooh, nice overhand right there. Gao Jai. Gao Jai coming in with the uh, pink shorts. You can see these girls have done some Muay Thai. Yes. Faux show. National sport of Thailand. And that's why you need to come and train here more. Kai Muay's per capita than any country because it's the Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Right into the back position. Oh, and goes around the foam out. Let's see if the submission attempt happens. Nope. Again, yeah, now we're just switching it up from the from the previous round. Exactly. Well, let's see what she can do from the top position. Pushing her face away and getting ready to strike. Yes. Perfectly done. Nice. No, she's learning. Oh, goes for the arm bar. Oh, that's tight, John. Yeah. Oh, and got there it. Is the tap. Oh, no. She wow. could she could have broke that. Her yeah. arm could be hurt. Ooh. That no moved. injuries in the dojo. Our medical teams are on top. Oh, of it. that was ugly. Again, replay action. BK, you saw it. Great armbar for the win. Amazing. You know, God, who's going to think that this little Thai girl can pull off an armbar like this? Amazing. There it is. The switch over. Oh. No losers in the dojo. No losers God, in the could... full metal dojo. But we have to declare a winner. I hope that's not broken. And at uh, 121 of the second, 
Let's go to the uh, let's go into the dojo. Oh yeah, she's got ice on it. That's tough to watch. 